Back again, viewers and subscribers. What's going on? You don't know the boy Yardman is here from Yardman AFC. Massive respect for you lot for whatever you have done for my channel. Because you know we hit the 500 subscriber plus now. So we hit it a couple of days ago. And I said to you lot, like, whenever I reach the 500 subscriber, I'm going to give away a Arsenal top. So I'm not lying. You don't know? see this here. But it's just, you know, I try to think about it. How am I going to give one of my viewers or one of my subscribers this rep this replica top so let me know how i should give away the top in and this video just leave in a comment tell me how i should give away this top or better yet anybody just left a comment and say you know what yard man i me forget the top in the cars a b r c r you know i'm a loop and say you know what i feel like say, you forget it but just say it to the back and say send me an address i'm gonna just post it to you know and like i said i was gonna give away a top when i reach 500 and I'm a man to my word. When you see the top there here. But yes, viewers and subscribers, when you top there, you know, we need to hit the 600 now. So we want to see if we can hit the 600 before the weekend or before next week. You know, when I rush a thing, kind of don't know, we don't know it not possible. This is why I'm giving back. Come and see like some of them who, you know, this are Jamaican here, yeah, I do the thing for Arsenal and everybody like all the Jamaican they on the thing at spit out patwa. Nobody no speak is pokey. You know, we just go to the live patwa. I want to go on when I say, and I say we do the thing. But yes, people, thank you. Sorry for long it, but so thank you still, you know. But yes, my people, the Premier League is back. Back again, the league is back. But guess what? We face Man City, I'm, and people worried, but I don't worry. Because when I realize and I view and looking at my crystal bar, Man City wasn't training. Man City just get back into training this week. So is that a little edge for Arsenal? I remember Man City have nothing to play for in the Premier League. Is that a little edge for Arsenal? Remember, Mikel Arteta was a coach there and it is the first time going back as a manager. Is that a little edge for Arsenal? So everywhere I'm thinking about it, I'm trying to be positive, no negative. But we don't want to be positive for Corona though. Positive for three points, not Corona. But yes, my people, positive. Be a positive thing because we are going to kick off the league the 17th. That is a Wednesday, June. So... We are thinking Man City not really ready yet, so we can't go there and get the three points and set that precedent and make people know. So we yeah, listen, we're not in another joke thing now. We, we, we mess up three quarters of the season and Corona come in and stuck it and, you know, ask who are going to give our a shake up. So now we come back for the league and we want fourth place because we need Champion League. I'm tired for go. We have a so and we have a so. I need to look a short journey in the Champion League. You know, don't know what people saw. Yes, that is what's going on, but I don't fear Man City. Because we can go there and win. They come to Emirates and beat us 3 0. We can go there and win. So, why, why should we be scared? Nobody's scared. But anyway, my people, guess what? Arsenal has made their first signing. And they signed a 19 year old, George Lewis. He was at um, trial at, at, at Arsenal. First, we spot him at Ipswich. And Arsenal realized that this little winger here is a little wissy, wassy winger. He's, he's mad, speedy. So we decide, say, you know what, we need to sign him up. So we just come to boom, and make the first sign in, sign him up, and drop him in at the under 23 and make him go and do him thing because guess what? We're going to release him next year. I believe him going to get released next year because I think him look like him pushing for one of them. They're going to come out next year and say, you know what, may I push for the Premier League because that's what I'm there for. Him from Uwanda, him can play for Norway. You know, Uwanda is the same. Who have the, the badge and the, and the visit you and the, and the replica top say yes. So, good prospect, you know, we, we, we're making, you know, pushing for little youngster then because we see that man doing it, peer youngster and nurture them and, talent, and bring out the talent out, out of them and sell them for big money. But we don't want to sell our little youngster, then we want to keep them and win things and make them look a fool over not. Feel like say, them top of us and them make money and them have new stadium and this and that. Them are pussy. We don't care about them because we are come take back this as storm. Even though we keep on saying North London is red, it forever be red. 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 Red, blood red. Back again, my people. Guess what? Arsenal has been leaked. Yes, them said Arsenal away kit has been leaked. And I like it. I hear people come and talk about it like is a is a, a artist was sleeping and flashing up pain panic but guess what me love that kit there me a mad over that kit there me a dead over that kit there yeah no girl no better than that kit there me hey you know when me see the kit when my vision my vision that kit me now a white air force and a black jeans I'm have on that kit there that top there mad with a yard man AFC at what blood I'm like, don't, don't be my son. 
mad thing in it. Does it look on the kid? The kid mad. I have never seen a kid like that in a football. So it's a kata, it's a kata different kid. You know, when we come out to that them kid here, we say, yeah, we like the Adidas kid here. Adidas kid here look mad. And that, that kid they look madder. Me love it. Me no care nobody wants to say, oh, like man get cut up in it or blood splash up on it or what me love it. Me no care about you. Me no care about what you want to say about my kid. But me love it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to wear it with honor. Okay? Me love my kid. But let's get into the chance right now. Arsenal has been linked with a player from Leon and it's in, um, Musa Dembele and he's 27 years old and we're looking to sign him up. He, he scored 22 goals in 42 games and it's the same team that we get um, Lacazette from because he's a replacement for Lacazette if he go. So more likely I'm thinking why Arsenal will link with Musa Dembele when Lacazette is there. We know that um, Abangi I'm going to leave because we want to do a swap with Barcelona. And let Abangyam go. We hear PSG sell so them off 35 million. We'll forget for Abangyam, but we want to do a swap. So I'm thinking, is that we're going to do the same swap for Thomas Pate, for, for Laka, because we know that Alex Kamajid want Laka Z. But I want him to stay at my club because I know he's a deadly striker, regardless of the fact that he must smoke, him drugs, him, 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 him gas, whatever he must smoke. I want him smoke when he go up on the pitch and mad it up. Yeah, mad it up. But yes, people, so that's what's going on in the Premier League. But what people don't understand is that we hear that Saka is in talk with Arsenal to sign a deal, an a, a, a extension on an on, on contract. So that's look good. That's a good look. We can't, we can't lie because I was thinking, what's going on with, with, with Saka? So that's the next one. Anyway, Arsenal now is in pole position to sign um, Philip Coutinho because we hear that Arsenal will take him on loan for 10 million. But the stumbling block is that Arsenal don't want to pay the 250,000 pounds per week. That is his wages. They want um, Barcelona to help foot some of that bill. And Barcelona decided that they don't want to do that. But Arsenal needs to remember that Chelsea is lurking around because Chelsea believed that he could replace Hazard. So... We have to get our skating shoes, boots on quick and just take him and pay him the money because, come on, he, he, we know that he worth the 250000 Come on, we know that. It's just that if he's going to come and just put in the performance, yeah, because we know when he was at Liverpool, he was the best head and shoulder. He was the best at the time. At one point in time, he was the best midfielder, attacking midfielder in the Premier League. We used to scared of him. So we know what he can do. So it's just for we now for just get this thing Pay the 10 million for the year, pay the 250,000 pounds, and get our season kick off. Now we have been linked with the next player from Barcelona, and it's Rafina. We know that Bas Barcelona is doing a clear out because I believe it's three players um, Steph Stegan, Messi, and um, somebody else is not um, on, the sh on the ship to ship out. Yeah, so we know that Barcelona are doing a ship out. So Barcelona are willing to take for this midfielder and he's a really good attacking midfielder and we, we want that. We need attacking midfielder. We need somebody who can take the ball from offline and bring it to the opponent 18-yard box and just, you know, make that look a nice pass or score some goal. We need that sort of player who can take on 3 4 5 player. We need that sort of player. Rafina, once he's at Barcelona, he's most, he must good. He must go because you know Barcelona will buy rubbish. So we're not going to sit down there and say, oh, Rafina, 27, 13 million. 13 million. Like I said, anybody coming from Barcelona, they must have some form of goodness in them. Right or wrong. Can't believe it. I'm not wrong in it. So that's the next player we are looking to sign. And Mikel Arteta is very interested in that player. So that is one of them. But guess what, my people? If you never know, let me tell you something. Did you know that one of the players, when you hear them come out early on in the, in the corona crisis, when Arsenal want to play them to take a pay cut, did you know that they said it was three players about to hunger here about Mesut Ozil? But do you know who was the ringleader? Who was leading that? Hector Bellerin. Hector Bellerin was the one who was leading it. I bet you never know that. Hector Bellerin was the one who decided to say he's not taking the pay cut. And whatever the situation may be, but me get news say, a Hector was doing it. So that's what's going on, my people. 
you only don't know the boy Yardman there from Yardman AFC. Big up on yourself, my people, because you know, I have to show you the love because you only show me the love, you only show me the subscribe, me going on the video. Big up on yourself, my people. But guess what? Don't stop doing what I'm doing. Don't stop subscribing to my channel, Yardman AFC. Let's see if we can hit the 600 before the ending of next week. Because we need to on a rush thing. We just do this for the love. We not, we not do it for because we want to be famous or we want to be a YouTuber. No, we just do this for the love. As a Jamaican, I do it for Arsenal. I do it for the world. That's how we do it. We just go on a car. We do you know, speak and spoke. We are going to some patwa now. Some straight dialect patwa. Broken English. I don't want to call it. I mean, something different. Right or wrong. So big up on yourself, my people. Don't forget to go up on the channel and subscribe. Big up on yourself. Over and out.